Well, good evening to you and uh, welcome on this most perfect evening for a game of football. Conditions are absolutely splendid and the folk of this town have come out in their droves for this match. Why wouldn't they? It is an ideal circumstance for what could be an ideal game. Everybody has been attracted to it. It has been the talk of the town and uh, the buses have been packed. Double-decker buses lining up outside. Coaches have carried thousands of away supporters here too and uh, all of it adds up to make a terrific a crackling atmosphere the match i think will be quite a spectacle one glance and you know where we are it is one of the most recognizable arenas for the beautiful game in the world and boy does it add to the occasion This is the perfect game for all parties, not least the neutrals who've just come to enjoy it. Well, under normal circumstances, this is a massive matchup, and I'm not totally in agreement with the view that friendlies tend to take the edge away. In my experience, if the opposition go at it full tilt, then you have to reciprocate. We'd like to see excitement and be entertained, but if it does go down the serious route, there'll still be lots to enjoy. Lucas Paqueta! He's delivered all right! Manchester are really pouncing on any stray passes in midfield. We're talking seconds from interception to the back of the net. It's counter-attacking heaven. Madrid trail at this early stage, how will they respond? Casemiro. Just to point out, Peter, that the fullbacks are quite high. And what do they try to achieve? Well, it's obviously a move to push um, the opposition wide men back and, and give them more to think about. And it's De La Feu. Lucas Paqueta. Lucas Paqueta clips one through. Tries to cross. Up to meet it. It's there. All too easy. They are in danger of disappearing out of sight. Well, you know, thinking about that, I think they've perfected that on the training ground because it took them seconds to get the ball from back to front. And they really commit forward in numbers too. It was all very well drilled. So that's two now without reply. That second goal has such a, a polarising effect on prospective moves. I mean, one team are under more pressure now to get the next goal and the other will fancy their chances of turning two into three. He is not one readily to admit defeat. Don't be surprised if he tries that again. De La Feu. De La Feu goes on a charge down the left. Isco. Sergio Ramos. Manchester are in control here on the brink of half time. Modric moves it over to the other flank. Valverde. Digne. to switch to play this is promising time to deliver chance to cross gets up to head it and we hit half time 
Fantastic excitement towards the end of the half there and a last-minute chance that really should have been converted. Here we go again then. Dinia. And it's De La Feu. Plays it out to the wing. De La Feu has it in a wide position. So what next? That's a case of crossing in hope. And unless they provide some more options, it'll be more missed than hit. Casemiro. Now it's Benzema. Benzema gets it out to the wing. Johansson is the guilty party there. Should be the keepers. Tries to get it forward quickly. He's picked him out. That's and the shot. Yes. And surely that settles it. What a great finish, but how about the touch? It just allowed him to put the ball exactly where he wanted it, and the rest became a formality. Madrid are making a change now. Manchester take a three-goal lead, and they are romping out of sight. Looking crossfield, changing the point of attack. Good defending, albeit from an unexpected source. Well, they say that your front lads should be that first line of, um, of stopping the opposition, and I think he's taken it to another level with his... And he's gone for it! Back of the net! Over the hills and far away! No catching them now! Yeah, looking back at that, that's how you play on the counter. Quick and decisive and ruthless with the finish. I thought it was a stunning, stunning breakaway. He's made it free. Quite a day at the office for him. This is one of the best performances I've seen in a while. He's practically taken on this team single-handedly. They don't know how to stop him. It's become a case of men against boys. Well, it's been a, an absolutely fabulous spell for them, and they're starting to look unstoppable. There could be more on the way. Has he picked him out? He's got it, and he's, he's had a go! It's a goal! A contest no more, it is nothing short of utter humiliation. Well, I think we've gone past humiliation now. This could be doing some real psychological damage. Manchester totally rampant here. Well, they're very much the better team at the moment, Peter, and, and no doubt we'll be looking to, to cause even more damage here. Hoists it forward, he's found his man, now, oh, shooting chance! Goal! This is as ruthless as it gets. It's part of the game, Peter, it has to get ruthless. Sympathy just doesn't play a part. Four in the game, he is the man.
Well, unsurprisingly, Peter, the opposition looked completely stunned. I'm not sure they can gather themselves. That's all. Great strength, too strong for his opponent. He's got through. He's through and all alone. And the finish. It's bounced out. And in again. All the balls come loose. And the referee brings it to a close. Manchester enjoy their perfect day. For their victims, it is entirely imperfect. Comprehensive winners of a one-sided contest. Well, after all of that, Jim, what are you thinking? Yeah, looking back on this, the early goal had a big influence on...